hey you guys welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is mink and this is mink's kinks and i know i look a little crazy i know but let's just go ahead and get right into the video because i i just can't stand to see myself this way y'all know if you are not new around here hey welcome back second if you are new around here hi my name is mink i create natural hair lifestyle beauty type of content so if you're interested in any of those things definitely go ahead hit the subscribe button and go ahead and join our kink group fam and comment it down below so that i can personally welcome you guys to the channel so as you guys read by the title we're going ahead and getting into the mayo pomegranate and honey curl defining mousse withhold withhold okay um and it says it is a texture mousse for type 4 hair and then on the bottom it says products in pomegranate and honey collection contain a blend of pomegranate honey and other ingredients so this is what the mousse looks like it is 7.5 ounces and I'm not sure how much it is off the top of my head, but y'all know that Mayo is inexpensive, so I'll leave their website down below. So yeah, y'all, if you know, you know. Um, I am really excited to try this mousse, okay? It is highly anticipated. I actually just had to pick this mousse up during um, Black Friday, so I picked up this, and actually I picked up the matching gel as well to this collection. So comment down below, A, if you want to see that from me, and then B, if you used it and your thoughts on it. So yeah, I'm super excited about this mousse because it is inexpensive, it's on the ground, and it claims to have hole. And y'all know, I love a good holding product, product but also y'all I I don't know I feel like I'm going through a phase in like my natural hair life or I've started a new phase I don't know something y'all know that I love a good old stronghold gel but um ever since I started working from home which is maybe like eight months now I've gotten into a lot of lighter holding products so a lot of creams a lot of foams a lot of like lighter holding gels and I've grown to really like them. So I'm really excited to go ahead and try another mousse. If you know, you know. If you follow me on Instagram, y'all know that I'm just, I'm turning into a mousse girl. So let's go ahead, read the claims, directions, and some of the ingredients to see what this mousse is trying to hit on. So it says, enjoy our pomegranate and honey curl defining mousse with hold is a non-sticky holding mousse that smells amazing i agree this pomegranate and honey collection smells bomb i actually went ahead and applied the leave-in conditioner to my hair already um that's actually one of the most popular videos on my channel for whatever reason but i have applied that it claims to be a primer and it definitely has that lightweight primary type of feel it says that um this is the perfect hold for type 4 hair i'm not really a hair typer y'all know that i have a lot of different hair textures in my hair um, I would say I have a little bit of type 4 down in um, my back sections, but again, I'm not really a hair typer. It says this mousse is infused with key essential oils such as shea butter, pomegranate, honey, apple, aloe, and jojoba oil for added moisture and hydration. As for directions, it says after hair has been cleaned and is damp. Okay, good to know. I will apply this on damp hair divide into sections apply a liberal amount of the pomegranate and honey curl defining mousse with hold to hair combing or finger or fingering through from root to end follow same pattern in each section and um section of hair until completely done style as desired that's perfect um so as you guys can see i have a lot going on here this two front sections here i'm actually going to slick them down i'm going to use the eco slay jello shot a lot of y'all recommended me to try the jello shot i've only used it on my edges so far and okay chef's kiss for the edges but i'm gonna lay this section down just to do some sort of style child because y'all know i usually do like the same style all the time so let's get into the top five ingredients so it's water disoglucide i'm not sure what that is polyquadrum 55 polysorbate 20 pvp which i know is used in a lot of gels and then methyl glue 20 so honestly i don't know what most of those ing ingredients are um honey is towards the middle aloe is towards the middle pomegranate all, okay so all the things that i do know is towards the middle and this does have a bit of protein or silk amino acid down towards the bottom and fragrance is the last ingredient so my all has pretty good um ingredients so honestly i'm not worried about it so yeah like i said these two sections up here in the front we're going to leave those because that's the part that i'm going to be slicking down 
but then I do have my hair out in the back. Today y'all we're actually going to do a twist out. So y'all know that I'm typically a braid out girl but I don't know. Um, I just want to try something different. So um, I usually, I don't know, I can't really perfect my twist outs for whatever reason. These days I used to do twist outs when I first went natural but now I am almost solely a braid out girl but I don't know we're gonna try something different today and I don't think I've ever tried a twist out with a mousse so that's what we're gonna do so y'all this is what my hair is looking like this is what my hair is looking like just with the leave-in and it actually does look pretty good um I would definitely say that this leave-in is a primer 100% it gives me the same like lightweight type of feel and texture as um like a sultanicals frizz whiz y'all know i've really been liking that as i am original leave-in it has that same lightweight sort of texture um as those type of leave-ins do so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and i think i'm gonna just split this section this back section in three and we'll just do three rows of twists leading up to the the slick down part okay y'all so this is the section down at the bottom that we're going to work with you guys can obviously see the difference in texture um y'all know that i just chop my hair just does what she wants so there's long sections over here and like a little back corner of my hair and then the rest of it is pretty um tighter texture down here as you guys can see so let me go ahead we're gonna section a piece and try this mousse all right y'all so this is about the size section that i'm going to go in on um and honestly i know that i probably shouldn't use a brush because it's a twist out and my hair naturally shrinks up more with a twist out but i kind of want to use my brush today so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and detangle on my damp hair of course starting from the bottoms and then we're gonna go up to the roots and then i will just go ahead and apply the mousse and we'll twist and see what happens so that's what my hair looks like after it has been detangled with the brush shrinkage is going crazy do you hear me okay so now let's go ahead and get into the mousse so this is what one pump of the mousse looks like it's a thick airy mousse it smells just like the um the the rest of the items from this collection it does have like i don't want to say a sticky consistency but it's like almost gel like if that makes sense and it is going through my hair pretty well have you guys tried a mousse wash and go i swear i'm the only person who still hasn't tried a mousse wash and go um and i'm just trying to figure out what mousse i would like to do it with um but this is what my hair is looking like and that's one pump of mousse so so i'm going back in just with another little dollop just to see what it'll do and it's a little white right now but as you guys can see my curls are definitely defined um i don't know that this would be a wash and go mousse like my curls i don't know but it could be a wash and go mousse my curls are definitely defined i just don't know that my hair would stay like that like i don't know that i have hair that'll work with a mousse wash and go and i know i should just take the risk and try it but y'all i'm so scared so comment down below if you have tried the mousse wash and goes and let me know what mousse you've used okay because i i'm lost so what i'm doing i'm just gonna go ahead and twist up my hair and that's literally all i'm gonna do i'm gonna twist up my hair i think i'm gonna use about a pump of mousse per twist because i don't want it to be too much mousse um where it could potentially get sticky at all even though this does claim to be a non-sticky formula but um i'm just trying to give the mousse the best run possible so i'm just going to go ahead and continue to twist up my hair i'll let you guys watch and show you guys another section but that is twist number one so yep yeah.
okay you guys so i am back and these are my final results so let's get into it i told you i was doing a slick little situation in the front but these are the curls So yeah, let's go ahead and let's talk about this mousse. So y'all, I promise you, I only am right here. Like it looks like I haven't used like anything at all. Um, I was a little bit concerned because this is 7.5 ounces. So it's less than the eight ounces that, you know, we're usually used to. Um, but I will say my hair dry quick. Like I wanna say three hours later, my hair was like completely dry. You could feel your hair um, drying like an hour later, but I would definitely say that at three hour mark, my hair was dry. Um, and I love the way that my hair looks. My hair is super shiny, super shiny. And y'all know, I feel like my hair naturally has a little bit of sheen, but um, shine, like when products give my hair shine, I'm definitely impressed. So um, I, I like the way my hair looks. I will say I only used about a pump of mousse, maybe a pump and a half on some sections. And down in my coarser section, there's definitely more frizz. But honestly, I feel like this is a twofold thing. You guys know that for me, I'm a braid out girl. I don't really do twist outs very often, but I just wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, and I'm not mad at it, but like, I don't know. Like, look at the curls. Like, can we like let's take a minute let's take a minute let's take a minute so there are there's a lot of definition there is some frizz and honestly i also kind of expect that with mousses um it's not a gel you know a gel is going to define every single one of your curls a mousse i find that they they really define your hair but there's always going to be some frizz so i i like the mousse i like the mousse and it did say to be generous and i definitely wasn't i used a pump of mousse per section because um i didn't want to get that like sticky feeling that sometimes you can get from mousses um i i like it i like it i'm definitely gonna try it again of course with my regular regular braid out <laughs> okay um and see how that works um i do think my hair looks really good i'm not sure that my hair will last all week okay i don't know that my hair will last all week it's been two days since i styled my hair and i'm taking it out um so the day that i'm filming this today is tuesday i will give it till friday you know i'd be surprised if it goes any further than that but this will make a amazing like low puff style because i'm sure the definition is not going anywhere my hair is moisturized like i can feel it on my fingers and it's not sticky it's moisture that's what it is it's moisture on my hands um i i like it y'all I do. I like it. I love that it's inexpensive. I love that it's on the ground. It's accessible. It's not sticky. It's not sticky. I like it. I'll have to see if it beats out some of my other favorite mousses. Like y'all know I love the Aunt Jackie's First Patrol. I love that. Um, and I have a lot of other mousses to try in my stash as well. So I'm excited to compare this to some other mousses that I have. But definitely so far so good. Definitely so far so good. So I like it. Let me know down below if you guys have tried this mousse. But yeah, you guys, that's the end of today's video. So I hope that you enjoyed. Like I said, let me know if you've tried this product and also some products that y'all mix and match with. Y'all know I'm a mix and match type of girl. Uh -huh. When you have a stash like this, baby, you, you should be trying stuff, okay? So yeah, you guys, that's the end of this video. Let me stop talking. I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.